So race five here from Cheltenham and race five on day one is the Glen Farkless Handicap Chase over three miles, seven furlongs, and 0 to 120. Number one, the Mott Farad Daini for Alex Cherry, Westwire Rush for Martin Leatham, a fleet lipped for James Shea, Blooming Chase for Darren Thompson, National Pastime for Joshua Sutherland, Fiddler's Woman for Derek Hinton, Marista for Thomas Rogers, Sheely for C. Beckworth, Citizen Cape Paul Rhodes, Amelia Farley for Pontypool, and Slip Anchor for Paul O'Neill. Make up just 11. We get straight to the first of the brushed fences all over it. One of these would have raced last week over in the Czech Republic. Uh, Velka Paduka. Excellent camp. So Slip Anchor is moving to the front now as we get to the second. They all go. Oh, no, we'd lost one there. Fiddler's Woman's gone. Unlucky Del. Took a dive at that fence. And he's out at the second. So it's Slip Anchor that's going to lead us. And this Hunter Chase. HQ, slip anchor from Sheila, blue silks and white sleeves. Out wide is a West Wire Rush from Martin Leadham. Between those horses is a Motta Fred Dini. And they will get over that one. Quite a small field here. But, uh, usually, when we get to the Cheltenham Festival, we run this event. It's the fourth. There's a stake there by Citizen Kane. Fifth, and everybody's over it, but a poor jump at the rear by Amelia Farley. Fences come thick and fast. They're all still standing on their feet through six. It's just the one we've lost, which was Fiddler's Woman. Woman's, Fiddler's Woman's. We get to the seventh, which is a plain one. We get over that. A couple of sticky jumps. It's right handed now and come downhill. And slip Anchor from the Sheila. Westwire Rush and Montfaridini. Get to the eighth, leaders over it. The rest of them, a poor jump out wide by national pastime, bit of a mistake. Still got three miles to travel here. We'll swing up to this brushed fence, all over that. The uphill now, slip anchor still that leads us. About six to Sheila, Westwire, Rush, and Montford Damey together. The grey out wide is Blooming Chaser. Green silks against the fence, a fleet lipped. National pastime when he's outside. Maritza, and then just a citizen cane. And Amelia Farley at the rear. Step over that one. Third of the fence is done. Oof, went straight through the top there, did uh, Westwire rush. Need to jump a little bit better. And still slip angle that leads by about five to Sheila. Motaferid Daini, West Wire Rush and Blooming Chaser together. Makes back to National Pastime and Citizen Game as they skip over the. I'm not quite sure what those fences are called. Hedges. But it's still Slip Anchor. Motaferid Daini and Sheila. West Wire Rush drop back a little bit there. Alongside National Pastime, Citizen Kane, Blooming Chaser. A fleet lipped over the water. One makes it, and Marista. Maritza, oops, her, and Amelia Farley at the rear. So it's still slip hanger. Into the fence here as we go up the hump on the other side. Negotiate it well. This one left handed now. Way off out from the grandstand. It's still slip hanger. Sheila in second, Mott Farradini is third, against the fences West Wire Rush. Grey moving well now is. I'm not sure who that is. The Grey? Oh, it's Blooming Chaser. Feet lipped. Let's uh, bring up the second ch pack of chasers with Maritza, Emilia Farley, and Citizen Kane. It's in three groups now, leader on his own. Still over two miles to go. Front. Skip over the bush jumps there. Getting a little bit more string out now, but single file. And slip anchor leads and mock for a day neat. National pastimes moved up well now in the third. And Sheila in blue silks, the grey, blue and chaser. Martin Leadham's West Wire Rush. Feet lipped for James Shea. Malia Farley and oh we lost one there, Citizen Kane's gone. 
didn't see that as a faller. Unlucky Paul. He fell last week. But, uh, Paducah. We'll get over that. Let's jump there by National Pastime. Let's slip anchor and mock for a Damey. National Pastime. Blooming Chase of the Grey against the Fence, Sheila and Westwire. Rush. We're getting closer all just to the leader now. And ten lengths between first and last. There's nine runners left. So it's still slip anchor from Mock Fred Daney. One, two. Line of horses, Blue and Chaser, West Wire Rush, National Pastime, and Sheila. That wide is Amelia Farley. Now, Fleet Lipped and Maritza. It's under a mile and a half to travel. He's going to come past Grand's down again. Down here to the water. We've all got over that. A couple of people waving. A little bit of a change in the chasing pack. We're being led by West Wire Rush now. Moving out on the outside is Amelia Farley. Graham Clutterbuck. Over the 24th of these fences. Quite good that nine of them are still standing. And off out again. A little more circuit. A few that got caught wide there going around that bend. A particularly blooming chaser and national pastime. Dropped right back. A poor jump there by Green Silks of Fleet Lipped. Still slip anchor right from the beginning. A mile from home now. Get to the 26. All over it. Another poor jump and mistake by Fleet Lipped. Drops him back down the pack a little bit. Sheila moving alongside second place from Watford Daney now. They get over a plain one. 27th. Six from home, so it's slip anchor. Leads by length and a half from Sheila. Third is Modfred Dainey. With a little length back to her feet, Lipped Westwire, Rush and Maritza together, and a further length and a half to Amelia Farley. Blooming Chase of the Grand National Pastime, both being hurried along. But it's slip anchor. Jockey asks for a little bit more inside the final six, so slip anchor from Sheila. Modfred Dainey still there. Oh, and we've lost Modfred Dainey. Got into it too close, and he's gone. Unlucky Alex. A little bit of a change up front now as Sheila takes it up with Westwire Rush. Right on the outside is Amelia Farley. Slip Anchor looks like he might have run out of steam here. And Westwire Rush gets over these last couple better than anyone else inside the final half a mile now. So Westwire Rush from Martin Leadham gets over the 31st. There's only two left to jump. They're all still on their feet and the remainder at the moment. Westwire Rush leads by about four from Sheila. Amelia Farley and Maritz uh, all running on well. Here comes Maritza for Thomas Rogers looking to challenge Westwire Rush. Running on well now as a fleet lipped, but it's Westwire Rush still got a length and a half advantage inside the final three. But here comes Maritza, Amelia Farley, and Sheila on the outside is a fleet lipped, but it's Westwire Rush still holding on to it now with just two furlongs left to go and two to jump. But he's being challenged by Maritza now as they get to the penultimate. They get to it well, they jump it together along with Sheila. These three are pulling away, so it's Maritza from Sheila on the outside. Westwire Rush is going backwards now. A better jump there by Sheila. Sheila's got the lead as they get inside the final furlong up the hill here. It's Sheila from Maritza. Westwire Rush running on their feet lipped. But it's Sheila as they go up the hill inside the final half furlong. Has Maritza got anything left? I don't think he has. Sheila's going to take this. Sheila's going to win the Grand Farkas Handicap Chase here. Race five from Maritza in second. Third was a fleet lip. Westwire Rush on for fourth. So a good win there for Sheila. That's Paul O'Neill's horse. I've got the silks right. Don't shoot me if I haven't. A good win there, win the Glen Farkas from. Oh, it's a Stewart's Inquiry in progress. Du, du, du. And Sheila wins it for Mr. Beckworth. I am sorry, it wasn't Paul O'Neill's. Paul O'Neill's was slip anchor, so well done there, Mr. Beckworth with Sheila. Second was Maritza for T. Rogers. Third was Athlete Lip for James Shea. Fourth, Westwire Rush for Martin Edom. And Amelia Farley for Pontypool Racing was fifth.